In this video, we shall review Selenium IDE commands in more details. Generally, all Selenium IDE commands may be divided into four streams. With actions, we are changing something in the application, like clicking, entering text, and so on. And as you can see, if an action fails or faces some error during the execution, the test stops and fails. Accessors allow us to access some state of the application. Not only examine it, but really store the result in some variable for future usage. And accessors uh, also automatically generate assertions. So, if an accessor fails, the test fails too. Assertions also access something. They are really like accessors, but they do not store. They only verify the state of the application. Check that it conforms to what is expected. Like, uh, we may check that the title has some value, the checkbox is checked, or something like that. And flow operations allow us to use uh, common programming operations like if, while, etc., etc., etc. It's a kind of experimental in Selenium IDE for now, but it's rather useful to make your script more effective and powerful. So, some more details here. Actions like open, click, uh, type, manipulate the state of the application. Here we are opening some URL, we are typing somewhere something, we click in something. And once again, remember that if an action fails, the whole test fails and stops. With accessors you may access some application parts, but uh, also accessors are used to store some value into some variable. And then use that variable value further in your script. Assertions allow us to verify the state of the application. For instance, uh, here we see that uh, we are verifying that the field is editable, we are verifying the value of the field, and uh, we want this value to be this. We may verify that some element is present on the page uh, using some locator. Assertions are divided into two equal lists, common starting with assert or with verify. The difference is the following. When assert fails, the whole test is aborted. It does not continue to the end. But when uh, verify fails, the test will continue execution and uh, just will log the issue. It is useful to check uh, multiple independent conditions. Imagine that uh, in uh, real life you have some shopping list and you go to the shop. And you check if this in the shop, it's OK. If this is in the shop, it's OK. And maybe something is not in the shop. But uh, you are using verify for this list, because if something is not in the shop, you may mark it, cross it out, but uh, then you may continue with any other items. But with assert, you should check from the beginning if the shop is open. Because if it's closed, maybe it's night time or something like that, you may not make any shopping at all. So, you just go back home. So, that's the difference between assert and verify. If assert fails, there is no possibility to continue the test. If verify fails, OK, it's bad, but there may be still a chance to uh, do something useful in the following comments. Flow operators allow us to use something like if, else, and so on. But remember that these operators are in active development stage for even for now. So, some strange things may happen if you use such approach. Nevertheless, it's useful, so try it from time to time. It may enrich your scripts in a great way. Now we are going to switch to live Selenium IDE demo to see all those comments quickly once again. Here we go. Let's make a quick overview of several comments. Uh, here we see echo this 
command only outputs something into the log. Here we see store command. It stores this value to this variable. And uh, here we see execute script command that executes JavaScript presented here and stores the result in the variable here. We see commands like uh, open uh, that uh, opens some URL relative to this base URL. Here we see that something is typed into some field, so that value goes to this field, then this value goes to this field, then this value goes to this field. Here we are clicking something, we are selecting some element from select list. Here we are once again clicking something and uh, we are verifying that some element is present. And here you see this is the last command. I may use either verify or assert. It absolutely doesn't matter because nothing is there after this command. So no matter. If assert fails, the test will be stopped or if verify fails, it is still the end of the test. Uh, so it's absolutely no matter what is here. But if this command was somewhere here maybe, then I should consider. Shall I continue the test and then I use verify or shall I stop the test and then I use assert. Speaking about control flow. Here is an example where we see classical while loop. We repeat that code several times. Again and again and again. We shall, of course, uh, review all these examples in details in a couple of videos. And uh, now just another reminder. Here we use commands to perform some actions. And then we use, let's see here, some uh, verifications to check some state of the application. Maybe you have some questions like what can I do with some or another HTML element? Sorry, but this course is uh, really not about the whole concepts of uh, HTML, web applications and uh, something like that. We are only talking about the Selenium IDE here. But if you want to know more about HTML, about JavaScript and about any other useful technologies like CSS, XPath, please visit this nice site and at least read the manuals there. And in the next videos we shall discuss Selenium IDE locators.